Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for coming back, hanging out with Ramo Red Track. Uh, all you got to do is sit back and relax on this one. You know I always bring it. I'm always going to feed your mind all the time, right on time. Like and subscribe. I think we ought to start with names. Because Jesus didn't know anything about Christianity. Teach that. Teach that. Teach. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And you're going to fight me. Because they say I'm a Muslim. And you say, well, I'm a Christian. And this is our Christian house. And a Muslim shouldn't be in our Christian house. See, you're so blind. No, Jesus didn't know anything about it. That's right. In fact, it was at Antioch yeah. when they were first called Christians. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Now, Antioch, where is that? That's not in Palestine where Jesus taught. That's in the Gentile land where Paul was teaching. We're going to theology school tonight. <laughs> yeah, but what were they called before they were called Christians? Since they were called Christians for the first time at Antioch. And they were called Christians because Peter came to the realization See, Jesus was not an arrogant person no, telling people, you know who I am. Some of us can't get a position. Teach that. That's it. Teach. We want to wear it on our sleeve, put it on our hat. Teach that. You know who I am? I'm the mayor. Yeah. I'm the city councilor. I'm Bishop Johnson. Jesus made himself of no reputation. He came as a thief in the night. And he never was telling the people who he was. So in the book of John, as we're getting near the time of his crucifixion and his departure... He asked the disciples, who do they say I am? Now, if he had been telling them who he was, they could give the straight answer. But they started naming certain prophets. They were in the right church, but they didn't get in the right pew yet. They say you are this prophet or that prophet. And then he turned to Peter and said, who do you say I am? And Peter spoke for the disciples. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. It's Peter. Peter said this, speaking for the disciples. And he said, flesh and blood did share this with you. But don't go and tell anybody. But why, if, you, if that's who he is, why shouldn't you shout it from the rooftop? It's because his ascension was the predicate or the action that had to take place before he became Christ. See, he was Jesus when he was among the people teaching. But he became Christ on his resurrection, sitting at the right hand of the Father, and the Father turned over all power in his hand. Then 
now you're dealing with Jesus the Christ. That's right. That's right. That's right. One anointed with power yes. to crush the wicked. Yes, Christ wasn't his last name. Christ was his title after his ascension. Y'all all right? We're going to school tonight. This Christ figure, oh my God. God didn't even think it he didn't think it robbery that he would be equal in power with God. God took him from death, resurrected. You may say he's the first begotten of the dead, but that may not necessarily be true. Because while he was a preacher, he raised Lazarus. Jesus Christ is so magnificent. He is called in scripture the son of man. That one that comes at the end of the world of Satan. There was a Jesus 2,000 years ago. That Jesus was a prophet. He was made in the Quran. He and his mother Mary were a sign of Jesus the Messiah. The Messiah is a man, a human being, born of a woman, but the indwelling spirit of God lives in him. Mm. Paul said of him, Jesus is the seed of David, according to the flesh, but declared to be the son of God according to the spirit. All right, let's get into it now. All right, guys, that is my little video for tonight. I wanted you to check that out. I know a lot of people are confused about the whole Jesus Christ topic. Some people say he live some people say that he wasn't some people say that it has a whole lot to do with astrology um i've gone back and forth myself with it you know it seems the more you know the less you know um so um what i say is and this is what my dad always told me jesus christ was the baddest motherfucker that we ever seen and that's all you need to know I'm Ramo.